Ula sa kulo ni June 1, Minister Hicks, uh, King of Bisi Malunis, Tibulik Timio, Kalimalang Ayo, Ambalamako, Kanino, Hosi Chakatako. Luta Parusan, Naluna Yaga, Langam Mayo, Hasupal Learning in Nitamako, Malitoga, Hartitangit, Ambalo, Minister Kusuva, or Kalimalang Mayo. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I'm filling in for Premier Savakata for the next couple of updates. There are still no confirmed or probable cases of COVID 19 in Nunavut. Today, the total number of people under investigation to date is 1,103. 142 people are currently under investigation. It's June 1st, as Kate had mentioned, and that means that daycares can reopen as of today, if they choose and are ready with enhanced cleaning protocols. Territorial parks and municipal playgrounds can now open, and gatherings of up to 25 people for outdoor gatherings are also now permitted. Ula sa kut king of beauty sama ka mas sibulak ti sabi ka ta muta ko tabani pinasa ako siyo na ato mi suli na lo na ato si mayo hangit dog o balo ni pasanak to ni no pa juan nak nineteen ta hangit dog no na gumi ulo mi katili marlo kita ko kaw yu sa tao yut one thousand one hundred three one hundred forty two suli kaw yu sa tao Ulumi Jun wan ng mataman na tukoy lek pa rivi matuig kanero na lek tulo mi pigyar lonie tay matuig na sorry gutik salom masaya kat kanero ng mula tuig na sorry gutik nuna bumimi ng isipi tamalo nuna len nigaw makut pingwar pingi anir besi lami matuig na simayut amalo katikat tao na silutit 25 ni anir lutik man na pigyun na siyo. Before we move on to other updates, I want to take. A moment to recognize Nunavut's class of 2020. We understand how hard the last few months have been. Things have been very different and we wish you could all have the graduations and celebrations that you deserve. Having said that, you pushed through and you made it. Nothing can take that away from you, not even COVID-19. <laughs> Tay may lisak si kay na magamino na bumay tuani tuani util lugo ilit na at tamini piyak ay tunik to kisi magalawat ng at sum na tukur si magacita kigalaw si mayonik at jo ng tukur si magatalo tay matutag kapiyak ay gusto na kuvial si gusto na tay may gun na si kisi anima na tay may bitchaw imat tay may ligalaw alon at tay matsur si magacita ulo mi motiki uti si magusi taman na ilit na sakto gun na ito ala no ba jo na na inti na sakto gun na jang ito. We're proud of your strength, resilience, and commitment. And that should be celebrated even if it's from afar or with a drive through grad ceremony, a solo photo shoot, or a small outdoor gathering with your family or closest friends. All Nunavimu wish you all the very best in the next phase of your journey. It will be exciting and rewarding to move forward in your next chapter when it's safe to do so. You've worked hard and you're ready. No matter where you're headed, you've got this. On behalf of the government of Nunavut, congratulations to the class of 2020. Upigi vachi sangi ne harne sinut sapilat tayli saman ne mut amalotuni simat siya ne mut taman na kubya si uta kubya ilit unga sigi tiu tiu galo akupta ubalo nuna si uta yat tuni kubya si uta harlo tar ilit ne akta minik pija kaya tuni ubalo ino tiu loti at jilio ta loti ubalo sila mihatsi na ulosi katilosi ilagi sigut pihan na gay sigullo nuna bumiu. Limanuk kayo sit sa kuya busi kung ulam mo ako sa mga ulam mo tinlosi ino ino sit sini kuya nang nagtok amalo at ulam mo sa alon ni si bumugi ako sa ham ng mukin ulam mo ino sa rinatas sinut at tanawon nipan at sa ulam mo sa magatsi upalong ayak sa matsyal ako si tayma namo si bumun na ako si kayo si gusto ako na sa mga ato si nuna buga ba makuwi Thank you. Now I'll we'll put my health hat back on. And I'd like to invite all Nunavimu to join me in celebrating World no, no Tobacco Day, which occurred yesterday, May 31st. This annual event highlights the health risks associated with tobacco use and advocates for effective policies to reduce tobacco consumption. Right now, we are all working hard to commit to our public health measures that protect us from the threat of COVID-19. We are social distancing, staying home as much as possible, and washing our hands as much as we can. These actions are keeping ourselves, our communities, and our territory safe. Okay.
Enago mayakka, nuna bumi lima tanai la ane hamang itu lagi nama minus tahun ini aku sih cangin. Kau biasa seperti kalau tanya nuna jual lima meter baka hanging nak mud ulungat nalo nai tahu si maninga nuk lawan nai nuk empat sak nasi yang jamih meter di one. Tanda kau kita masak kita hatak tu ane hamang itu lagi nama ulung ayat nak tu mei kita guna nama nai nai itu baka tu hatak nak amalu tamak kau atau agak aku jit saya seperti itu baka tu luar hatak aku jingin yang mud. Mana yang asal itu kata tak kau ane hamang itu lagi nama kanu kanu ilir itu kata sapu melayu saya kulogi nova jual nak nineteen tiga kuna go you know hati itu tahu ngasih gasoh kata tu gud angin kasi magasoh kata tu tapi yang nang nili matin ni agatin nilo wasai nak kata suka tama kau kanu ilir itu tibut uvat tindik nuna kati tinilo nuna vumilo atau nak tu mite ilir itu tahu yo. Quitting tobacco use is one more step we can take to guard ourselves against the impact of this pandemic. We know that COVID-19 is mainly a respiratory virus and early evidence suggests that smoking can make symptoms worse. Smokers are also likely to be more vulnerable to COVID-19 as smoking increases the likelihood of transmission from one's face and lips. Please remember, do not share cigarettes, joints or pipes. Do not pick up discarded cigarette or cannabis butts and wash your hands often and refrain from touching your face. No culture have not tobacco, lidnik, a tokatam, no more time, a hundred lady, a canoe, a knock, a sapu, me go to a good knock, a tree, a knocking, and it amana, a sang, a palenium. How you may get the Nova Joan of nineteen, Tamana, Ipinia, not tuning, and it honey magus uninga, a malo, how you yell, Samaluni, Tamako, a single after her talk to Tamakumunga, Tamatumunga, honey man, not so good, not so thick. Sigalaya tukti, tay mga nawajo na 19 mo, tay mga siya magbigo na nagsayo, tay mga sulo, kanil mini, kina mini lo, at tukti ka tanga ta, ikaw man ay ako si sigalaya ni, after yula ka tangi lo si amalo, milutinik o baloni, supok tutini. Tako alu, ikita usi mayo na sigalaya mini ni ko baloni, milutinik kami ng ni, tukat tangi lo si. The best thing that we can do for our health is to quit smoking. By making the decision to quit smoking, we can help to protect ourselves from COVID-19 today and dramatically improve our health for the coming weeks, months and years. Tak mahu nak kau nak kau cuci segala atau hatta nak mud dimini sapu tuh si mayu nak tuh gud nova jua nak nineteen mik ullo mik ambalo kanu igu ni cah nak sah gua tuh gupina sah gua si gua lat tuh ni tak kiu ni tuh ni apa gua ni tuh ni segala tuh gud ni si mal derutta. Support is available for anyone who wants to explore options to help them quit. Message a counselor on the tobacco has no place here Facebook page or call one eight six six three six eight seven eight four eight. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The service is private and free. Counselors can help you in Inuktitut, English, Inuinaktun, and French. Okay. I can help you in the next few days. I can help you in the next few days. I can help you in the next few days. I can help you in the next few days. I can help you in the next few days. I can help you in the next few days. I can help you in the next few days. I can help you in the next few days. Ukala lo si lo niyong asito na kaya kang ito uvunga one eight six six three six eight seven eight four eight ikakat twenty four ulo tamat ulo is seven pinasa ako si lo ani. Tapos napigit si kau tiyo yung asingin nuto sa tao yung ito akay kang ito sunilo. Tako kau jigi akte ikayo kung nakut inutitut kalo na titut inutin nakut wevi titut lo. Nicotine replacement therapy is also available at no cost through the non-insured health benefits program at your local health centre or pharmacy. And call ahead and ask your health care provider for information and options for nicotine replacement therapy. Thank you. Nuna cini ane abit cini upalu iya gak tak bimbi. Ukala kala lu ti tanah ane asyuk tiga jai tu kisi gak begul lagu nalar gak tak harum nang mengapi tamak kuningan ikutimu. Ikayu tau gunak tu nino kagak suam nangmu. Ayam nama. 
And just before Dr. Patterson gives his update, I just have a, one more just brief statement to make. I'd like to clarify. Uh, I just want to briefly correct one of my statements from last week related to the wage top-up programs. Last week I incorrectly stated that retailers in Nunavut have already bumped up staff salaries using the Canadian the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy Program. This information was incorrect and although some retailers have increased their hourly wages on their own during these difficult times, rather Nunavut's Essential Workers Wage Premium announced last week provides a wage top-up for employees in the social services sectors like boarding homes, group homes and home care for up to $25 an hour. At this time, retailers do not qualify for this wage top-up program as it is targeted for those providing social services to vulnerable Nunavut. Please excuse any confusion that this error has caused to listeners and employers. Twenty-five dollars Good morning. Today marks the start of Nunavut's Path Forward. Daycares, parks, and playgrounds are permitted to reopen and the size limit for outdoor gatherings has been increased to 25. Today will also be the first of our bi-weekly assessments concerning the modification of current public health measures. As we look at altering public health measures, I want to take a moment and emphasize to all Nunavumia the continued importance of social distancing. While we are in a position to alter measures, we are not in a position to take social distancing for granted. We've noticed through contact tracing of uh, persons under investigation that people's contact bubbles are becoming noticeably larger. Larger contact bubbles make it more challenging to identify and prevent the spread of COVID-19 and other infections in our communities. COVID-19 continues to pose a risk to Nunavumia and we are not immune to this pandemic. We've made it this far thanks to our collective efforts, but those efforts have to continue. Tako <laughs> 
With that said, I'm pleased to announce the following modifications to public health measures that will be occurring over the next two weeks. Effective immediately, in, tori, in, sorry, in territory travel advisories are lifted. Travel outside of Nunavut is still not recommended. Individuals who are traveling outside of the territory need to be aware not only of the isolation procedures to return, but also the measures that other jurisdictions may have in place to limit or discourage travel. On June 8th, workplaces and retail outlets are permitted to reopen, provided that they have safety measures in place. Galleries, museums and libraries may also be opened for individual viewing and browsing, although uh, group sessions are still uh, prohibited. There will also be increasing availability of in-person health assessments at health centres across the territory. On June 15th, dental clinics, physiotherapy clinics, massage therapy and chiropractic treatments are permitted to resume. Gyms and pools will also be permitted to reopen for solo workouts and lap swimming only. Please note all these measures are subject to change or alteration should conditions change. Thank you. June 15, me kigo tiliri yao bi amalo timi mo ekaile sa bi nukinik hasu sa iji amalo kimerlunik inuli sa iko tio yun tayma pigi ako na lalang mayo nereyo na kloni tama ko atut sa klogi timi mo sa pumbi ko tio yun ikse ang magtayli ko tini. Good morning. Black Hood, Unicara, Jumiarama, Taco, Canaria, Tulri, Governor Cuni, Okaus, Sagini, Taco, Mamino, Taco, Malik Sugit, Dr. Patterson, Governor Cunun, Novumi, Malik Sauniartut, Uquir Padlenio Mixanut. Sakit awal Oktober, tanah nubuk jauh nak pilih lu. Iglu nak balik ni akta buat siu mukpal dia tildo ta nubuk jauh nak nineteen pit juti pilih lu. Sakit awal Oktober ikpak sana. Nenol naik esimang mat kanok gawo makut siu mukpal dia ni ang mangata ukuir tere balia lu tik tamak kuninga uloga ana luang itu nik ukuir ukuir on nak tunik siu mukpal dia tildo ta nunabu iluane. Tako malik sugit na luna ng semayut, ikana yak bit pilar bit ukwerun ng nereyangit ukwer nereyangit lo 
Under the guidance of Dr. Patterson, the government of Nunavut has begun reassessing the measures that were put in place in response to COVID-19, Nunavut's path moving forward during COVID-19, which was released last week and lays out the government's approach to easing restrictions based on reducing risk related to the virus while minimizing the impacts on Nunavut Mu. Based on the current evidence on risk and impacts of measures, reopening workplaces is considered a low-risk measure. Uglumi Okaromabunga, Kaomaku Nunabumi Pilare Yingit, Aisima Bluti Pilare Hataktu, Senabing Utrea Harnel Mata, June 8 Mulukpat, Senat Taylor Ranipat, June 8, 2020. Me. Gavumakunu Pilareu, Mana Aisima Bluti Pilareu Naktut, Utipalene Matatekunga Pilare Vigianino. Tamna Ismaliangu Lopro, Okakati Yolo Futik, Tapua Timiliangu Simayut, Ulorenang to make to no new mixan of Gavumakut Pilare Yingite Iluane, Ama Anna Tailima Yulre Kut, Timigianga Abdunato Octavo to Workers Safety and Compensation Commission. To Kishio Mayu, Taku Pilare V, Gavomaku Iloni, Pilare View, Ulorena Nitiare Hamata, and Nernatu Yare Haratiglu, and Pilare Ratigin Nermut, Sakiti Chia on Narea Hamata, Taku and Nunavumi Gavomakun Pilare, Pilare Yuna Cherning in the Atorun Nahublu, Ulores and Wildut Pilare Ving Mini, and Nele Rayam Nermini. Today, I am announcing the, the end of the Government of Nunavut's Work From Home Program for Government of Nunavut employees. Starting Monday, June 8, 2020, GN employees who are currently working from home will be returning to their regular workplaces. This decision was made in consultation with the Public Health Team and the Workers' Safety and Pub Compensation Commission. We recognize that a healthy workplace is essential to the health and well-being of all of our employees, enabling them to bring their essential talents, skills, and energy as they deliver services to all of Nunavum Miu. Rapkoa ulorean aktumeku nagi pilere yu gavoma kunut pilere vingi lu ulorean ulorean viyoku nagi. Government Malignia Tutta Kuninga Sakita was in my unique Maligaxa unique. Anna Taila Mayulre could Sakis in my young in Nick, Pilare Vingi Ujo to Toya Reha to Maligeli Lumalik Sutigut, Amatapua Ujo to Tokoya was in my youth, Tapsumunga Dr. Patterson, Titer Vianut, Tamna Pitu to give the Gunubak Jordan nineteen. Government Kunu Pilare Utamarmi Atwina Havionia to Tau. Takunga Maligao Unik, Gavamakunu Pilare U Unut, Katangutin in Nudu, Ikayo Ikayuta of Tut Ulorena, Tokta Halerangat, Uvaloni under Lubu in Nartunu, Takua Gavamakunu Pilare Utamami, Nutarangitlu, Katangutin in Uloran to Mohonagi. In support of a safe and healthy workplace, the GN is following workers' safety and compensation guidelines on risk assessment and worksite precautions and will continue to follow all orders and restrictions set in place by the Chief Public Health Officer in response to COVID-19. GN employees will also continue to receive health and safety information and guidelines on an ongoing basis. The GN's Employees and Family Assistance Program is also available to support the overall well-being of government employees and their families. Tapua Kigatu Yingit Avictor Sima Yugava Makunu Pilere V, Mana Pilere Nartu Taguani Sanatelio Akuningani, Pamna Chia Sima Yunaho Blugit, Tapua Pilere V, Gaumakunu Pilere Yid, Takununa Pilere Ving in Minut Utere Apata, Hanigi Hanigi Lok Taile Manet, Akio Manertuni Takunani Pilere Vio Uni, Amma Tukisio Mayugut. Pilare 
Representatives from each department are working this week to ensure that workplaces are prepared for the return of GN employees and that social distancing continues to be maintained. Some flexibility may be required as employees transition from homes back to offices. We realize that with school closures and the uncertainty of summer day camp programs at this time, that parents will need time to work out childcare options, and therefore we encourage them to contact their immediate supervisors to discuss those options. Mana At this time, there will be limited public access to GN offices in order to support social distancing and for the health and safety of all Nunavumi. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all government of Nunavut employees for your hard work and continuing commitment during these times. Your well-being is our top priority. I'd also like to thank Nunavut for your ongoing patience and understanding as we continue to provide necessary programs and services. Thank you. Kentris Goli PT and National News, Dr. Patterson. The recommendation from federal health officials is if you can't properly social distance, wear a mask. A lot of those government of Nunavut offices are very close quarters. Are you advising government of Nunavut employees to wear a mask when they return? Kentris Goli PT and Kunnik Luta Patterson. That's correct. It is a, a recommendation that any time distancing can't be maintained, that a mask is uh, an option, um, and that certainly includes uh, workplaces, but we're looking at all of our options on that and we're not making it a, um, a strict requirement at this time as there's no COVID in territory. If we find COVID in territory then we will uh, obviously change that uh, very quickly.
want to go back to some of the comments both you and the Premier made about the CERB benefit, urging Nunavut who don't qualify to not go for it. Uh, to quote the Premier, it's not free money. I've been in contact with Revenue Canada and they can't tell me how many Nunavut residents have received that benefit. I've been in touch with Income Assistance and they can't track how much more or less was taken from Income Assistance over the last month. So what I'm wondering is, you and the Premier both seem very concerned. What is the evidence that you've been receiving that leads you to believe that Nunavut have been falsely claiming the CERB? Thanks for the question, Kent. Uh, it starts off right from the Prime Minister making some statements in the last couple of weeks of some, some concerns that have been brought to, to the national level. Uh, also, anecdotally, uh, there's been a lot of stories going around of, of people that they know would not qualify that are receiving uh, CERB payments. So those, those are some of the, we just want to help make sure that people don't put themselves in a financial situation next year where there's going to be monies being clawed back from the federal government to repay the, this, this amount. It could put people in a very awkward situation financially. And just to finally, Kent, to, just to add, for anyone out there who has been receiving CERB and, and you know you're not qualified, uh, there is contact information on the federal government's website as, as well as through, uh, uh, I believe, through the Canada offices when they do open up again on how to repay that money so that you don't get into a, a, a situation. You mean Service Canada? Minister Joannesi, please. Uh, Minister Joannesi, uh, teachers have been back in the school since mid-April, yet at least at the middle school here in Akali, we still haven't received a report card from them. I'm wondering when do you expect to have report cards out for all the students in the territory? Minister Joannesi, uh, thank you for the question. As per usual, the school calendar is winding down and at the end of the school year, the report cards are being prepared so parents and guardians can expect their report cards to be rolled out uh, over the course of the month. Uh, the school calendar is varies per uh, each community depending on the DEA's uh, direction. So. You can expect those report cards uh, within the month. Thank you. Rajni Sharma, Nunavut News. Um, I have some questions for Dr. Patterson. <coughs> Dr. 
Dr. Patterson, I understand that schools are listed under medium risk, and I also understand that some of the schools are already starting to close, but there are some schools that are going to be closing at the end of the month. So I'm wondering, like, why are workplaces opening, but schools are not opening? Rajni Sharma, Nunavut News, Kumnik, Luta Patterson, Tana Guto, Sassima, Mata, Koelid, Nerbeet, Ulora, Nartumi, Guta, Gunnarni, Hitia, Gungamat, Matuya, Lalas, Sutil, Luta, Hino, and Summa, Lita, Kamatir, Tale, Katamako, Lomatir, Palian, Alak, Tilogino, and Gugava, Makumita, Kanaya, Bing. With the increasing age over daycares, um, there's some information that there may be increased risk from COVID-19, increased transmission between children in that age range, and um, with being younger and less mature, greater difficulty maintaining social distancing. So that's the rationale for that classification in the, in the framework. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Is testing for COVID-19 still happening uh, intensely, like throughout Nunavut, or has the Department of Health eased up on that? It's available in every health center. Um, the last time I checked, the numbers of people presenting with symptoms that could be consistent with COVID-19 have declined, and so the uh, number of people being tested per day has dropped off a little bit. But that's not because of anything we've done. We're not intentionally um, uh, uh, trying to test less people or anything like that. Also, there's a testing um, gene expert machine in Callaway and there's one in uh, Rankin Inlet. So I'm just wondering, what is the testing device status update for Cambridge Bay? Cambridge Bay doesn't have a fume hood or a biosafety cabinet, so the gene expert and the biofire devices aren't appropriate for uh, anywhere outside of Iqaluit or Rankin Inlet. Those other communities were um, planning on deploying the Spartan diagnostic devices when they're ready. Sorry, um, I should have been more specific, yeah. I was wondering about the Spartan devices, like, is there an update about that? Uh, Spartan, which are not a lot of people who not a lot of people Nothing yet. They're working on uh, f fixing the flaws so that it becomes more consistent and reliable. And um, once I know, I'll let everyone know. Megan Dule, you know, Natsiak News. Um, I know that daycares have the option to be open today, and with this announcement that GN employees, the work from home isn't happening anymore starting next week, 
Do you have any update for us about daycares, their statuses? Will they be ready next week when all GN employees go back to work? Again, do you know that they are going to have a matter of time? Have you been able to get the matter of time? Have you been able to get the matter of time? Have you been able to get the angin kami ni kena ya kat dalam tu tu guna dalam kita tu sah tu sah nak semua benda ko payah review tu nak ulang dalam ni ni tu nak buka faham kau kita kena ya kat ini utila alat dulu ni kau yang nama mana mu tiket cukup tak ko tu kesian macam tu ni hilang ini payah review hulu ni ukur ni tu kau jemah juga kau ini teman ini tu nak buka jual ni tu ni ukur tu kau ni tu amal tu bani pinas awak tu ni Pinga sih jok tu ni, mak mak ketuk akan yang nak lalu ni, amat tahu sulit. Kini ni aku mak mak bukan ni, amal itu pun tak kau nunguanu, tikit lugu mak tu tak kau. Pilih kapti guma jawab tak kau payah di nama kejap mini aku yang perlu aku nak lugu, amal itu pilih kapti yang perlu nak suci kau tahu tak kau atau kering mini atau tiada aku lugu, tu ni kapti tu ni jauh sih malu ti, tambah kuningga. Ungu segi tercakap tengah hangam memalu, kuasa cakap tengah hangam itu memang kuasa dan mungkin cakap cakap tengah mata payah lebih kisah ni. Ikan jauh sama cakap sudah juga ditabuh. Right now, as far as we know so far, we have ten facilities opening up today across the territory. There are six facilities opening up later this week, and another two in the next couple of weeks, and another two later on this month. But we're providing daycares uh, their their own um, uh, pace to open up their facilities, and also um, provided guidelines for uh, establishing uh, protocols around public health measures. Um, so important to note also that some daycares um, closed for the summer, and that they might uh, very well be closed for the remainder of the season. Thank you. And what consideration are parents of school-aged children being given at this time in terms of going back to work but also having their young children at home who might not be going to daycare? Thank you. 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 Kokakaga mo wajaya tako pilerigi ay si maluti pilerigi tagbunga sa nabing minu utak paldiay at jiging ito mi utak paldiay na kang niya mata pang nagpaldiay ay ay kaktulik do tako nunga ay ribing mo ay kaktulik ubaluni ay ribyo sila tani ay ribig saksi ay kaktut tako tamang mik o kakati ka kova wot tako nunga isumata ay yung inik may naksiyang yung inik do Tama tu mami kisah no kanok pilih reh kang niang mga ta time na ublok tikilau tin nago naro nangi tu hilang it time na sana yaktok bigi yaga yaktok tengah titirak bingun unga tau ciga lang niak tu tanda naro nangi tu time na itu ko kat taksi maju luk tanga gapta angayok kango yutigo nila no tak kat para yiksak siyo kote kat taka yaksak siyo gaptigo tanda tu kisah maju abut Amma pilih kata gigi ni aku nak orang itu pilih rayu yut amma isumatang it. That's a very good question, and as as I stated earlier in my comments, that each case is going to be different. It might not be daycare related. It might be some other reason for not being able to come back to work on the on those dates. And uh, we are, uh, all the departments are aware and the supervisors are aware that uh, they have to deal with each case individually. Uh, many of us have our parents and have gone through this kind of uh, exercise where we can't find the babysitters. Uh, it, it might not be daycare related. Uh, many, many, many of the uh, workforce and people in Nunavut have babysitters that come from the community. Uh, so, uh, and, and some of that pool of uh, possible daycare workers are concerned about uh, COVID. So, uh, we, we're asking that each individual person who is going through this kind of uh, issue, uh, a daycare issue, issue or babysitter issue or something like that, that 
We understand, uh, and we, we would like them to uh, work with their immediate supervisors to try to work out a way that uh, they could resolve that issue and come back to work as soon as they can. Uh, that date, June 8, is not a uh, stop date or uh, a hard stop date, start date. Uh, we, we understand, and, and, and let's work through this uh, to ensure that uh, uh, people go back to work uh, knowing that their children are in a safe place and that they are in a work, uh, safe workplace also. Between the, the ransomware attack that happened in November and recovering from that and then this pandemic happening, really locking down the government in mid-March and requiring employees to work from home and take care of their kids and teach them where they're doing that, I'm wondering what kind of conversations are had between the politicians here about the productivity of their governments in the last half a year. Is that a concern at all? Uh, we've had many discussions around uh, uh, issues, first with the virus and then this, uh, uh, spyware, I guess. Uh, but, but most of the conversation has been around how incredible uh, the government workforce is. Uh, they adapt very quickly. I don't, I don't know how many will wish to be able to work from home again because uh, working from home in, includes having to take care of your children and other people's children and cook and, and do your work at home. It, it's, it's very uh, uh, onerous on, on, on people to, to work from home, and, and, uh, but they do incredible work. Uh, I think, uh, ha has there been issues with working from home? Yes, but I think they've been minimized by the incredible workforce we have. And uh, we, uh, you know, we appreciate the patients uh, out there. But I don't, I, I have not spoken with any of my colleagues that have said that uh, uh, this is falling behind because of working from home or because of lack of daycare. Uh, our staff have been able to work uh, not around it, but through uh, the many barriers that have been put in place. Uh, my next question is for Dr. Patterson, you mentioned that through contact tracing, you've noticed that people are hanging, like can you talk, like, expand on what you said about you've noticed that people, their bubbles may be bigger than they, can you say what you've been seeing and what that indicates to you? Thanks. It was, it's coming from uh, feedback from public health nurses and other staff in the Department of Health who do contact tracing, and they're noticing that uh, there's an, it's increasingly common for people to report, be reporting more and more people that they've had contact with at home or in other people's houses. 
And so it shows that people are getting out more and having more contact with more people. And it's a bit of a concern that if COVID-19 arrives, it will spread further and faster than it would have two or three weeks ago. But I can't give you absolute numbers. Jackie McKay, CBC News. Um, Dr. Patterson, are you able to tell us um, what or if the GN is doing to monitor the situation at Embassy West? Jackie McKay, CBC News. Yeah, the department that, or the part of health, uh, the part of the Department of Health that oversees care for elders is monitoring the situation very closely and sending email, sending updates every uh, couple of days that are provided through uh, public health contacts in Ontario and management at Embassy West. And with that said, so far all Nunavumut in Embassy West remain free of symptoms and have not tested positive for COVID and everything appears to be going well. Thank you. Um, also wondering if the if nurses in the territory um, have had any sort of special type of training to deal with COVID if it was here besides just contact tracing. There's been some reviews of how to put on and take off uh, personal protective equipment um, and some memos and guidelines on how to get test samples collected properly. In terms of caring for somebody who's got COVID-19, it's very similar, it's the same as it is for anybody else with a uh, significant respiratory illness. It's uh, supportive care and if they need uh, admission to hospital, then they get transferred out. Um, we have a question that came um, from somebody watching the Facebook Live. Um, they want to know why restaurants are opening um, in the south where COVID cases are, ri are rising and uh, why we're not opening restaurants here yet. I can't comment on why other jurisdictions have chosen to do it the way they are doing it. For Nunavut, there is a slight concern that there's uh, COVID-19 in territory that we have missed. And as we open up, as we see social contacts expand, we uh, could see transmission start to occur in communities and with 
where we're still relying on delayed diagnostics, uh, this going a bit slower and more carefully is a way of making up for that. Educators are saying that because of the school closures due to COVID, it's creating an education gap between students. Some students have barriers, um, such as maybe they don't have internet or a computer, or they live in a house where they're unable to do their work, or they're not just going to go pick up those paper packa packages. So their learning has essentially stopped when the school closed in March, and now they're going to be behind when they have to go back to school in the fall. I'm wondering what the Department of Education is going to do next year if schools have to close to ensure this education gap doesn't continue. I'm going to talk to the Minister of Education. I'm going to talk to the Minister of Education. I'm going to talk to the Minister of akasyohat <laughs> Thank you for the question. The learning packets that have been going out to date, have, uh, it's all with the intention of learning to continue on the home front, and it's to uh, support numeracy, literacy, and health and well-being, but also we want to strengthen what has been learned to date. Um, we want to continue on that learning path uh, in all variety of ways, and we are also planning um, through the summer months into the next school year around how if there's any uh, instructional time that is lost, uh, if there's any kind of gap that uh, we have to deal with, we have a working group looking at um, learning, learning loss specifically and also looking at uh, what other jurisdictions are doing around this. So this is something that we're working towards uh, addressing uh, over the term of this pandemic. Thank you. If this can, if the schools have to close again next school year, what is the GN doing now to ensure that they're in a better situation next next year? Is the is there planning in place like this working group to to make sure essentially that it's it's going better than it is now? Um, 
Ma <hesitation> 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 <hesit